In this example, we'll see how to select a simple random sample from a population. The population we're given is a set of six quiz scores, and there are 10 students. So notice that there are 10 rows here, and then each column corresponds to a different quiz. And that makes a total of 60 scores that we have to choose from. But we're going to select a simple random sample of 12 of these from this group. And we'll use the calculator to do this. So let's go to the calculator and we'll use the random number generator there to pull out random values. On the calculator, we want to open the math menu. So we'll use the math button. And then we want to use the random number generator, which is part of the probability tool set. So notice this PRB menu up here. If we scroll to the right, we get the probability menu. And we have some random number generators, including RAND, which will give us a random number between 0 and 1. That's not quite what we want here. We want random integers, so we'll select number 5. Rand int gives us random integers. And we want these integers to represent values in our data set. Remember that we had 60 values to work with, and we want to select 12 of them, which means we want to select 12 numbers between 1 and 60. If we open up this Rand int option, it looks for three things the lower bound, the upper bound, and the number of values that we want. We want our values to be between 1 and 60. So we'll type in 1, comma, using the comma button just above the 7, 60, comma, 12, and that will select 12 values between 1 and 60. If we hit Enter, it'll list out those values, and we can scroll to the right to read the ones that we can't see yet. So we have 57, 55, 9, 31, and so on. Now, without going through each one of these in detail, let's select the first one, for instance, 57. If we go back to the data, we want to select the 57th value in this list. So we have to read through it somehow. Let's say we start reading up here, and we read across one row, and then when we reach the end, we go down to the next row and continue from there. So to find the 57th number, the easiest way probably will be to start at 60 and work backwards. So the 60th number will be here at the end, 59 is right here, 58, which makes this number 57. So the 57th number is 10. Then we had the 55th number, which we can again find just by going back two more steps. And there's number 55. So we're looking for the number that's in the position 57 and in position 55 in this list. 57 and 55 are not the numbers we get in our sample. They just tell us which position to look for. So then we can continue. The next one was 9, so the ninth position. The first row has 6 values, and then we have 7, 8, 9, which happens to be a 9, actually. And then the 31st position. And we could continue on this process and select the other values. But rather than going through and showing that in detail, I'll just skip ahead to where we've selected all the numbers. So there you have the full sample of 12 values and the average there is about nine.